Hey, what is up, YouTube? Black Eagle here, bringing you back some more West of Loathing. Last time we left it off, we... Uh... I know what I'm doing. It hasn't been a while at all. Uh, we said we we're going to uh, clear out the basement and get back the relic for the nuns. I remember exactly what I'm doing. Um... Precariously balanced pyramid of skulls. They're all riled up and twitching. Yeah, I kick it over. Are you sure? There's a lot of them, and they're really mad. Maybe angering all of them at once isn't a great idea. No, no, we're no coward. Kick that shit. Oh, wow, they're just floating. All, all I hear is xylophone noises. Uh, Alright, let's get this done then. Ooh, maybe, yeah, maybe this was a bad idea. Oh, oh it's too spoopy. The spoopy damage. Oh, damn. <laughs> you got your ass kicked all the way up the stairs. You gain, you gain an effect angry. Dang. And that is literally the... Oh, I... You're madder than Hornet. If your anger level gets higher than two, you'll pass out from rage. Oh, wow. I never died thinking about it. I think that's the first death. I think the only reason I got the, uh, the first thing of anger is because, uh... What is it because? Oh yeah, I yelled at myself in the mirror. Let's try it again. Fan hammer. <laughs> That's one. Uh, I am going to have her construct a barricade in front of us. Boom. Ah, oh, never mind. They can use. Oh well, no. They do less damage because I have the barricade in front of her. That's actually good to know. Alright, start shooting these guys. Let's see, if I poison your target, use this one to restore 5 HP. Only 5, yo. Cover 10. Huh. Oh, this won't end my turn. Oh, hell yeah, let's do that. Hey! Let's see here. Didn't mean to do that. Uh. What's this do? Target will be disabled for one round. Uh, let's get rid of this skull here. And we'll do that on the next skeleton head. Not, of course, if we live. And I think we're dead. Oh, no, we're not. We are still in this. I don't know what I want to do. Uh, yeah, let's heal up. Medical. Ow, damn. That doesn't use on my turn? Oh my god, yes! Use all of them! Ha! I feel amazing. Alright, let's lay down the duck on this guy. Turn down the headphones, because they're a wee bit loud. Uh, let's disable him for a round. No idea how you lasso a skull head, but good. I did it. Yeah, either way, I'm looking at this. Not gonna win. I guess they don't go for her at all. Damn. Yep. You get so angry about losing that fight that you pass out. You wake up next morning in your bed. Susie must have carried you back here after you got knocked down. You're a little sore, but no, uh, not otherwise any worse for wear. You're pretty hungry, though, and sober. Let's mosey. Day two, the second day of the, re uh, the rest of your life. Wow. So that, that entire time's only been a day. Uh... All right. Well, let's uh, <coughs> forgot about this guy. Let's never do that again. But now that we can, we can go to the kitchen and give that guy his uh, his saltpeter space. Listen to the piano. Let's see, kitchen. There you go. Okay, the next thing I need is a certain kind of hot pepper. It's called a murder pepper. Because it's really spicy? Uh, because it literally has a knife and it kills people who, are, uh, who ask dumb questions. Uh, the girl in the outside, uh, the area outside of town. You should be able to find one if you just wander around a while. Ah, huh, okay. Let's go get that done then. 
Can't believe you got murdered by a bunch of skeletons. I feel bad. Oh, there's that chick that's mad again. Oh yeah, that's right, I don't exit out that way. Alrighty. Catch a whiff of something that makes your eyes water. Uh, you trace it to the source, a vividly colored red shape hanging from a scraggly little plant. Especially the south, uh, east, western murder pepper that fe uh, that a feller at the jewel has, uh, was looking for. Well, if I can speak, of course. <clears throat> uh, your finger and thumb immediately start throbbing as you pluck the pepper. You toss it into your rucksack before it can do any more damage. Yeah, an item, southwest murder pepper. Okay. Let's go ahead and head back then. Do 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 do. Didn't have a knife in it though. Disappointing. Did you find me a murder pepper? Yep, here it is. Ah, nice big one. That'll last a while. Good going. Okay, so if you're still looking for uh, for stuff to do, I need someone to go check my mail. I ordered a new saute knife, but I haven't got time to go fetch it myself. Uh, here's the key to my post office box. Got a key to P.O. Box 441. Okay, let's get it done. And who would have thought getting murdered by skeleton heads would be... I don't know. This, wait, was that guy on the floor yelling ouch? Oh god. This guy looks like he's in a lot of pain. Check on him. You okay, buddy? I'm pretty sure my leg is broken, so no. What happened? Traffic accident? No, it just sort of broke all of a sudden. I guess I don't get enough vitamins or whatever. Good nutrition can be difficult in this day and age. I'm going to need some medicine for this. Can you help me? Uh, sure. Thank you. There's a mission. Uh, there's a mission up north. The nuns there run a little hospital and sell med uh, medical supplies. Can you give me some broken leg pills? <laughs> okay, coming up. Uh, that's a really specific order. You're like, hey, can I specifically have broken leg pills? Uh, open the box. Uh, you open the box and a torrent of junk mail falls out to reveal a knife just sitting loose, uh, loose in the box. You pick it up. I require the saute knife. Can I equip saute knife? I go to my inventory. How good is saute knife? Uh, even though you're holding it, you're still pretty sure there's no uh, there's no such thing as a saute knife. Uh, any, uh, anyway, it's too thin to use a, as a weapon, so it's not even worth stealing. Ah! Game read my mind. Alright, let's go. Can I use that thing? One of those newfangled telegraph machines. Alright, let's head back. Um, kitchen. You got my knife? Yep, here we go. Excellent. This will work a lot better than that hammer I was using. <laughs> Okay, I only need one more favor from you, but it's the most its the most important. I used to have this re uh, recipe for a very secret jerk sauce, but my jerk friend Dave J stole it from me, and then he died and took the secret to his grave. Literally, I mean, he was buried with it. Want me to dig up his grave? He's dead, he won't mind. Well, okay. <laughs> Alright, well. Um. Uh, here, let's head back out. Uh, where is the... Uh, it was Dave J, correct? Uh, as you're riding alo uh, along, you see some braided fuses sticking out of a nearby rock. Investigating more closely, you see that somebody drilled a hole in the rock and inserted a bunch of the dynamite, but apparently lost interest and wandered away without setting it off. <laughs> or maybe they were, uh, they were just out of matches. Uh, let's take the dynamite. Nice. Alright, Dave Yard. Dave B... Dave C, uh, Dave L, that's just a box, yeah, Dave G, Dave G, H, I, J, K, uh, nope, that's not in order like I thought it would be, Dave J, that, he's not here, uh, this is one of the things they have in a month, okay, open one fight, open a whole bunch, uh, leave him be. I just said leave him be. God dang it. Die! Oh, that was a waste of a fan hammer, but no well. Oof, ow. <sighs> Damn cook mages. Let's quickly take care of these guys. Haley one? Okay. I'm not half dying or anything. 
skeleton bone, you have a handful of loose teeth. That's disgusting. Uh, Oh yeah, we need a lot of stuff for it. Can we daze one of the bone piles? Dave J. I'm going buy a different fellow named Dave J. Okay. Uh, Dave G here, Dave L. Dave J. I dig up the grave and pry open the coffin. Instead of corpse, it contains a garbage bag. Strange. Uh, reach inside. You reach into the garbage bag and are surprised to find that full of pudding. What? No, it's not just pudding. It's pudding and motor oil. Who would do this? Uh, keep digging. You finally manage to reach all the way to the bottom of the bag and retrieve a sodden lump from the bottom. You'll unclop the wad and dry it off. Then wash your hands in a nearby ditch. Uh, this better be worth it. You got an item. Dave's secret sauce recipe. All right. Pudding and motor oil. That is... That's... It's it's uh, something else. Um, as you turn a corner, you come face to face with three bandits pushing a large barrel of mixed TNT down the trail. Four of you stare at each other for a moment, unsure of how to deal with this potential violent <laughs> happenstance. Dive for cover and fight them. Ride the heck away. Trick them out of some gear. Let's do that. Phew. Good thing I cut up with that. Uh, got a... Uh, uh, uh. Good thing I caught up to you guys. The sheriff's looking for three fellows dressed like bandits pushing a barrel. If he sees you like that, the uh, the plan's a bust. Hell and tarnation. What should we do? Well, I reckon he's looking for three uh, three fellows dressed like bandits, right? Not uh, not two fellows dressed like bandits and and one in his <laughs> one fell in his underwear. Hey, there's some good thinking. Thanks, partner. The three bandits draw lo uh, draw lots, and the loser uh, and the loser hand you his gear. You got bandit pistol, black hat, and black denim pants. Yeah, we uh, we probably should have stopped those guys. They're probably gonna blow up something. Uh, no, not the metal. Want my inventory? What about uh, what are the denim pants? Uh, plus one to my armor. Plus two spell damage. Yeah, I get that one. Uh, I like my moxie, so I'm not gonna wear that one. What about the bandit's pistol? Desert gate six gun fight seven. Six, seven, okay. So, nothing good to note. Alright, uh, Jewel Saloon. Kitchen. Got that recipe yet? The, the one my jerk friend, Dave J, took, uh, took to his grave. Uh, yeah, I got it. Hey, thanks a million, buddy. Um, uh, now my slop will be world famous. Uh, here, let me give you a little something for all your trouble. It fell on the, it fell on the slop, but it's still good. Uh, you got an item, sloppy top hat. All the day's work. Oh, is it cool? Please tell me it's cool. Because I really kind of want to wear this top hat. Because, you know, everyone's got to look dapper, even in the wasteland. Oh, plus three moxie? What's mine give me? Plus one moxie. Top hat! Yeah! Quiet top hat. Alright, let's go. We're ready to mess up some skeleton heads now. Me and my dingy top hat about to, about to, about to wake the world mine. Alright. Uh, where were we going to? Whew. A lot of different places. Alright, uh, I think it was the old mission. Uh, you find a pair of binoculars hanging out on a passing cactus. I mean a cactus you're passing, not a cactus that's passing you. It only, look, it only looked like it was passing you because of your frame of, re uh, frame of reference. Uh, grab them. You uh, Disposable binoculars. These will come in handy. They will, uh, they will also come in pairs because otherwise they wouldn't be binoculars. <laughs> Maybe monocles. Binocular. Alright, let's head back inside. Uh, let's check real quick. Good luck down there. This could be the... Uh, PvP... What? Uh, I'll have all of them back in a sec. Okay. Maybe this isn't the uh, the right place. Uh, look inside. It's an empty. Curious. This skull has gold too. Take it. Yeah! your stuff. The skull is twitching in an unnerving fashion, though I guess there's no way it could be twitching that wouldn't be unnerving. Let's fight it. Yeah, let's take this thing out quickly. Boom, done. Nice. Uh, item gold tooth. Hooray. Moving on. 
The skull sitting at a weird angle. I guess that notable for some reason. Uh, look under it. I got a souvenir spoon. The skull was resting on top of a commemorative spoon. Your treasure hunting senses are finally honed. Uh, though not very discriminately. Uh, dis but not very discriminating. Souvenir spoon. Okay. Not the map. I keep opening up the map for some reason. Uh, souvenir spoon. It's one of those collectible uh, pewter spoons you get from going to the gift shops and different graveyards. <laughs> different graveyards? This item goes in your offhand. Uh, okay, what's in what's in my offhand? I don't know what's in my offhand. Oh, wait, like sweet smelling flowers. Okay, filthy porcelain cow. Mainly take damage. Oh, this one increases my moxie, so I'll I'll take it for now. Skull is whispering at you. That doesn't seem right. Skull is whispering. Oh, okay. Uh, it just sounds like gibberish. Though you really creep them both. <laughs> really creepy gibberish. It's empty alcove. There's a little serial number written below it. Oh, hey, this is where the skull you found goes. Hey, put it here. Nice. We return the skull. This pile of skulls has been cemented together for some reason. Uh, I can't pick it apart because I don't have a pickaxe. I believe I can get that at the shop. I wonder. Uh, those bones are jiggling and rattling in an agitated way. Alrighty then. Oh god. <laughs> he's got skulls for hands! Or maybe he's got skulls for boxing gloves. Or it could be wrong, and he's got skulls between his legs? Uh, you know what, let's not think purely about it and just shoot it to death. There you go, see it's dead. Now we don't have to worry about it if it was on his chest, his hands, or his balls. Uh, you won! Uh, I got a skeleton bone. Pile of skulls is strictly decorative. Hmm, more satanic rituals. Good. Here lies Saint Beefus. After he died, his body kept trying to rise to heaven, but it was so heavy it just couldn't flop. Uh, it just, just kind of flopped around a bunch. They had to uh, enter him in a big stone sarcophagus to put uh, <laughs> to put a stop to it. That is disgusting. There is some kind of dark ritual. This stuff looks like it's been abandoned for a while. One of the candles is knocked over. This must be recent. I'm a pope, seriously. You know, let's just go let's just start with the first guy, huh? Jeez, they really knew how to build heavy stone sarcophagus back in the day. Ugh, we're not strong enough to open it. Damn, that sucks. The saint appears to be resting in pieces. Reassemble it with ten mysticality. Wow, it is just not our lucky day, huh? Maybe I've got a couple things that'll help me uh, increase my stats. Keep everything in categories. Let's see, armor. Mm, this is plus state of muscle. I just need another thing that helps me uh, helps me with muscle, and then we can we can move the thing. The stone sarcophagus is over. Uh, let's see, muscle, muscle, muscle. Um, it'd be better if we sorted it out like this. Let's see, Moxie, spell damage. Moxie, armor. Okay, moving on. Smoking chrysanthemum. Nope. Uh, no. I don't think it'd be any of these. Sweet smelling. Uh, this is looking like a negative. Goblin pants. Armor. Bean stained pants. Spell damage. Oops. Brown boost. Max AP. Alright, so nothing on the muscle front, so let's re equip our top hat. Oh, it missed Cali at all. Uh, looks like we're not going to be getting these guy, uh, these things back for a while. St. Pope stands uh, beneficially behind the Dia. Uh, God, I know how to speak. He just keeps doing his poke gestures, ignoring you. How can someone look so smug without even having a face? The longer you watch him, the more he gets on your nerves. Uh, insult him. You unleash a torrent of insults that, uh, that would make a sailor blush and a sailor's mother ashamed of a sailor. St. Poe's eyes narrow. Looks like you finally managed to make him mad enough to fight you. Fight him! Oh no, he's praying. He prayed so hard that it's the end of the episode. Well, 
We'll come back to this later, I guess. So if you liked the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye.